hope you're doing great. So today I want us to look at this um, University of Eastern Finland. I'm talking about University of Eastern Finland and it's um, one of the most affordable and recommendable university as it is now in Finland, I can say. Uh, most of the information here about scholarships, about um, tuition fees, about tuition waivers, um, they have to do with 2024, like currently. But um, I don't know if in 2025, that's um, from next academic year, which is um, next application period, sorry, which is in general um, between December and January 20. 25. I don't know if they're going to change it, but there's this recent update that I want to talk about because this is going to stay even next year or next two years because this is like breaking news, like fresh news, which um University of Eastern Finland wants to implement. And I think it's really great with um given the fact that there, there is going to be so like different changes when it comes to tuition fees in Finland. So this particular move by University of Eastern Finland, it's really commendable. And I want to share it with you guys. And I also want to recommend this university because um, since I started my YouTube channel, like I have so many subscribers that are now in University of Eastern Finland because the tuition fee is really affordable and they have series of scholarships tuition waivers early bed um discount um there's just so much and un so it's um it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's an international student um city yeah there are lots of international students there and it's easy for you um to settle and um get to know finland more through that um particular city because you have so many international students that you can actually relate with and you know make your stay in finland as an international student really um fun so i will also like to mention that they are partnering with um some universities um in um uh, nigeria so they have this kind of a partnership with nigeria which is an African country, which is also something I really love. So, uh, but today I just want to focus on the tuition fees, uh, the waivers and the scholarships, and uh, especially the new scholarship when it comes to Finnish language. That is very important. Um, so I will just kind of like run you through for you to just um, see what is going on. Um, this is a new initiative. I'm going to try to highlight it so that it's more visible. So you can see as a new initiative for 2025, um, University of Eastern Finland is introducing a tuition waiver based on learning the Finnish language for students in bachelor's and master's degree programs studying English. So this is a new initiative. So if you are planning to apply to University of Eastern Finland from next year, this is something you should take note of. So the aim of the waiver is to encourage, encourage international students to learn Finnish and help them better integrate into Finnish society. The new tuition waiver program for the admission round of 2025 and details about Finnish proficiency Tuition waiver application will be published in September 2024. So they are going to talk more about this in September. Now, I want to comment on the fact that they mentioned that it's going to improve your employment opportunities. Yes, 100% yes, I support that. And it's also going to improve something that I didn't mention, your chances of staying in Finland for a longer period. So for example, if you want to become a permanent resident in Finland, the law has changed. If you want to become a Finnish citizen, it has changed. You need to write the IKI test, which is the Finnish language um, test. So if you start studying Finnish, you know, let's say from the, your first year of studies, then by the time you're graduating, maybe for a, a, a master's program, 
after two years, for a bachelor after three to four years, I'm very sure that you must have attained some level of finish. And with that, it will be easy for you to pick up a job, especially if you are studying um, anything that has to do with health or anything that has to do with teaching. So that will help you a lot. And you will also use that knowledge to write the EQ test and apply for your permanent residence. You also use that knowledge to apply for your citizenship. So this is very important. Now, what is this all about? The eligibility criteria, like details, you can see here that um, if you apply through the certification base, so for example, you are using, you already have like um, intermediate level of three or four, like the EQ test that I'm talking about. So you already have a national certificate. So because when you write the EQ test, they'll give you, like you already have that paper. It's just like when you take the I to TOEFL test. So if you have that, what they will do is, what will happen is you will get 100% tuition waiver for the next semester's tuition fee. So for example, if you begin your studies in August, which is first semester, all right? And then during the first semester, you have this um, intermediate level of finish, which is either you score either a three or a four. Then in your second semester, you're not going to pay anything. So now this is it. So for example, your master's program costs 12,000 euros. And the first semester is supposed to pay 6,000 euros. The second semester is supposed to pay 6,000 euros. It means that in the second semester, you're not going to pay the 6,000 euros. So that will save you a lot of money. It will save you a lot of money as an international student. Um, the second is, when we are talking about study based tuition waiver. So, if you have so this one is more when you're coming outside FEMA and you have um, A2.2 level proficiency by passing the SWAMI 3 course. So, this is a course in the university. So, when you pass this course, you'll be able to get 50% tuition waiver for the next semester tuition fee. So these are um, some of the requirements. You must be enrolled in the university. Um, you must not, so if you are a student that is coming from abroad and you really have a 100% tuition waiver, maybe through the UA, a UEF scholarship or the Finland scholarship, you are not eligible because you're already on scholarship, so you don't need more. Um, and if you are, your mother tongue is Finnish, obviously you're not part of this. <laughs> um, and you also, you, you must progress in your studies. So it is very um, important. And this is not something that goes automatically. So when you pass this Finnish language test, you can apply during this, um, this month. So this is the, for the spring semester, you can apply between November 15 to December 15. If it's in the autumn semester, you can apply from June 15 to August. 15. So um, this is very important. Now, some of the other tuition waivers that the University of um, Eastern Finland currently have, um, they always they, they, they offer 50% scholarship depending on the program. So programs, I think last year they were like 70%, but this year, as we all know, the current government and the new laws, so they are just bringing it down. This year was 50%. So I don't know about next year, but that of the Finnish language scholarship is fixed. It's going to be there next year. But when we talk of these tuition fees and waivers, we don't know if they are going to change. So we have to wait till maybe September where universities update um, their websites. And I will still talk about this when they update their website because it's very important. So as you can see, it means, for example, these are master's programs, yeah. So which means as an international student, I can actually study 
actually I can study a master's program for 4,000 euros, which is very, very affordable as compared to other universities. Because as you can see, you have 8,000 euros as the um, tuition fee for a year, but they are offering 50% scholarship. So that makes it 4,000 euros. Okay, and those for 10, it makes it 5,000 euros, which is very, very afford affordable. Now, they also have this Finland scholarship. I've talked about Finland scholarship here, where you are eligible to um, uh, for a 100% tuition waiver for the first academic year. So, which means in the first, during the first academic year, you are not going to pay any fees. And still, they are going to pay you 5,000 relocation funds. So, this is the Finland scholarship and i think Tampere university also offer this finance scholarship at other universities um now they have something about the early bird also there is the early bird scholarship and with the early bird scholarship you are supposed to pay if you pay your fees within a certain period of time this is it then they will deduct five thousand euros for the autumn semester. So for example, if you pay your fees, these are the deadline by the 3rd of May, 2024 for a bachelor student, the, dead, the, the deadline is 21st of June. So if you pay your fees within this period, obviously they'll reduce 500 euros from your tuition fee. So there are so many um, scholarships, tuition waivers that you can um, take advantage of in University of Eastern Finland. So I will leave the link, this particular link in the description box below. Make sure you go through this website and you can keep, you know, just put an eye on it when they update the new um, tuition fees and waivers and scholarships for 2025, you'll be able to um, see it. And also you can also go through the programs. Um, these are the programs. They are here. So Faculty of Philosophy, you have about four programs. Faculty of Science, you have so many programs, Health Science, um, Social Sciences and Business. So you can check out some of these programs and you are like, okay, I'm interested in this one. I'm just going to wait and uh, for them to update their fees and also get things ready. So I'll leave a link and make sure you go through um, this website so thank you so very much and please help me to like this video share with your friends and comment below if you have any question and if you're already in finland let me know in the comment section all right you're welcome and for those of you who made it congratulations on your admission and i hope that the residence permit process is going on well all right so just comment below let me know where you are <laughs> at the moment when it comes to your moving to Finland journey. Okay, see you next week and God bless you. Bye.